To get started with a valve adjustment on a 2011 Honda CBR125R, I uh, want to point you at this sticker, which is right underneath the gas tank. The gas tank would be sitting here. And this is a seriously uh, hard shot here. We are underneath the body panel, some body panel parts being removed. So you can see some numbers here and the uh, steering would be, the forks would be here on this side. So you can see the following numbers here. Valve lash, that means valve gap. Intake in 0.06 millimeters. Exhaust EX 0.27 millimeters. Brackets cold. What these figures also mean that these are maximum values, but that's only implied. And as it says here, you have to measure it on a cold engine, okay? That means overnight cold, not 20 minutes cold, okay? Uh, one more number here that uh, could be of interest here. It says spark plug gap. There, spark plug gap, 0 0.7, 0 0.8 millimeters. No other adjustments needed. Anything else, look it up in the manual. Uh, delightful. I do have an owner's manual. It doesn't say anything about valve adjustments. And the service manual is only available online for the technicians. No good for me. Now, as I said, this is a tricky shot here. Extremely cramped here. And uh, just bear with me. Let's get closer to the engine here. The good news is the valve adjustment on this Honda is a tappet screw type. The tappet screw would be, just give me some time here, that one there. And this is the spring compressing the valves. This is the camshaft mechanism and you can see there the camshaft, if I rotate it a little bit, maybe the other direction, you can see the cam rising there in the I'm gonna rotate it away. Yep, like so. Okay, so it says intake and exhaust valves and this one here is the exhaust valve because the exhaust is right around here. On this six dollar uh, FILA gauge set I have the following numbers here on the FILA gauge. As you can see it doesn't have a 0 0.29 millimeter one. I also have, courtesy of Steve, though, a range of adjustments. So on the exhaust, courtesy of Steve, the bike doctor, the, ex or the exhaust gap could be as little as 0 0.25 millimeters. I do have a 0 0.25 and uh, having a maximum of 0 0.29, just wait for the camera to focus there, would mean that the 0 0.30 should be impossible to fit in there. Okay, so if I just leave the 0 0.30 exposed and try to fit that one in there, there the 0 0.30 doesn't go in. It bends and buckles but it doesn't go in. Which is good news. That means that the gap is less than the maximum allowable. It's good. And just to double check it, here is the 0 0.25 if I place this one here to the underside and this one that should be the gap this one should rise easily so it should go in there like that there it should go in there and drag like so so that's the exhaust valve it's looking good I'm gonna try to reposition this camera for the intake valve just bear with me fellas and I'm gonna go a little bit up with the camera and a little bit sideways thereabouts the intake valve is how do I do this this one is the tappet screw for the intake valve and it was specified to be between 0 0.4 and 0 0.6 millimeters. Here is there. Here are the numbers for the intake 0 0.4 and oh, 0 0.04 to 0 0.8. It's written here, but uh, on the body on the body panel it was 0 
either way on this set of feeler gauges I got the following numbers here I've got 0 0.06 with the skinniest one there 0 0.7 is the next one 0 0.8 the next one so let's see which one is the one that doesn't fit let's start with the 0 0.08 here and I'm just trying to make this work with one hand and the camera being in the way so the 0 0.08 doesn't really fit in there it's buckling and bending doesn't fit that's good news let's go for a 0 0.06 because I tried this before and I know the 0 0.06 will be also buckling but it fits like that it fits underneath and it's got a good drag as you can see it it's still buckling the metal it's good and of course you need to make sure that the cam lobes are <coughs> out of the way so just pick a position on the camshaft so that the cam lobes are out of the way the radius of those cam lobes is pretty constant all the way around so I could measure valve gaps in any of these positions you can still here there is still a gap if I rotate more there's still a gap there if I rotate the other way there's still the same gap because the cam lobes for three quarters of their turn they have a pretty constant radius and you can measure the valve gaps uh, in any position where the cam lobes are out of the way now <coughs> to do this valve job now because it's done it's good all I need to do is put the lid back on and the lid looks like that and it had two bolts of there, this kind so these go into the rubber grommets there and eventually will mount into that hole there and 